Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for February 28th to March 14th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members for all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you would like a personal read with me or you would like to pre-order my new Oracle deck, it's at jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. And also guys, we're going to do uh, an assessment of this um, love connection. And then we're going to look at this person's feelings and then we're gonna look at the outcome here for February 28th to March 14th time period. And we're gonna jump onto our singles. Please remember that these are general messages. You can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. So guys, it's a pretty extensive reading, so stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's gonna happen with my Pisces romantic love life for February 28th to March 14th? What's gonna have my Pisces romantic love life for February 28th to March 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's gonna happen with my Pisces romantic love life for February 28th to March 14th? Pisces romantic love life February 28th to March 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And what is your love interest? How does your love interest feel about you? How does Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Pisces love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So this is going to be uh, the current, what's going on with the current situation between you and this love interest. Okay, so it looks like for some of you, there may be some arguments and disputes. There may be some challenges here. There may be some competition here because we see multiple people and they seem to be fighting over one particular person there. It looks like somebody is trying to attack one person and the other person is trying to hold someone back there, okay? So there's some challenges around that or something to do with some changes here. And there is, seems to be this person that's like sitting back and they're trying to be wise in their decision making, right? They're having this patient energy here. And again, it's another five card energy. So let's see what is part of the block and challenge here around this connection. It could be something to do with family and long-term commitment here, okay? Um, something to do with money, possibly with the 10 of pentacles energy something to do with a house or loyalty because we see the doll card energy here and it could be something to do with some kind of breakup or something to do with someone who feels like something is breaking something up or something needs to be broke up when it comes to family and long-term commitment or somebody wants someone to break up here and there is something that's really for me i feel like when it comes to the challenge it is it was something that somebody was prepared for or somebody is prepared for or preparing for because we see that there is a lifeboat here if you guys can see that there's a lifeboat there so there is somebody who is really preparing or prepared for it when it comes to family and long-term commitment and loyalty okay let's keep going here so what does this person need in order to make the connection work so let's see here hmm got the three of swords energy so it's not about longing it's about moving past the sense of heartache and not having the stuck energy because you see there's an anchor in that card the anchor for Lenormand because remember this is Lenormand less Cheryl anchors can represent something that's stuck or stagnant right and then we got the three of swords energy for the Tyrell which is saying okay I don't want to have the sense of heartache I want to move past the stuck energy right I don't want this uh, possibly for some of you third party situation mm-hmm yeah, we got the this card right here, which reminds me of the mice card energy, this sense of stress around this or something that's being done behind the scenes. Okay, so let's see what is part of the influence in this connection. Mm. So the influence of this connection is the Seven of Cups energy. It's like, I don't know what I want. I got these choices, I got these options, and we got the clouds in there. It's like, I don't know what I want. I'm confused about what I want. 
And I feel like this is a situation where someone's like, I'm just trying to be wise in my decision making because it's like this person has a crown on their head, right? And there's a kind of a showy kind of energy to it. Okay, and a lot of analyzing, thinking, contemplating. Yeah, the fox card energy. And there's a sense that somebody is being very strategic, right? Again, we see there's a rooster in that card that's standing out. It's like, uh, it's, it's getting the attention, but there is a person that's not coming forth. They're not being honest about what's going on with them. And it's giving a sense of confusion about choices and options. And we see that there is this wisdom about something that was being taken away around a breakup where someone's not being honest. And there's these challenges, arguments, and disputes about this heartache and family long-term commitment, which is causing the sense of, I don't know what I want. And so there's a lot of confusion around this. And there's a lot of analyzing, thinking, and contemplating about these challenges here. Okay, so with that all being said, let's see what's going on with the feelings here. Okay, we see there's an ex-partner going on. So this person knows it or feels that there's an unfinished love connection with an ex-partner that's ex-involved. They feel like they want this new love connection here, okay? They know that there's potential for love here with you, okay? And they do want to go out and socialize with you with the socialized card. They feel like interacting with others will bring them both balance and happiness. So we see in this situation, this person is dealing with this X situation, okay, for some of you, or they know that X is involved, but they do want this potential love connection. They feel like there's love here and they want to socialize. They want to go out with you here with the socializing card, right? They enjoy spending time with you with the socializing card. Okay, so let's see now what's going to happen with the time period of February 28th to March 14th. Okay, so it looks like there are some people here and they are playing cards. So we see that there is some type of choice happening here, all right, with the Two of Wands energy. And it's to do with marriage and traditional values and long-term commitment. Before we go further, I want to clarify what this choice is about. Okay, so... There's a message, a letter, it's coming in, some communication, some things are coming out, some things are being exposed here, right, with the letter card energy that you're gonna have to make a choice about, right? It's almost like someone's hand delivering a letter, like a letter, a message, a document, paperwork, right, a Facebook message, text message there, and it looks like a gamble around that, okay? So let's see what this Hierophant card is. It's a commitment to love here with the heart card energy. So you're getting this message of love this, this letter of love, this text message of love. So you're getting this communication of love here. And we see you have to make a choice about a commitment, engagement, or marriage there with the Hierophant card energy. Okay, all right. Wow, there we go again. Page of Cups is saying you're gonna get this message of love. Page of Cups. And this is really, truly gonna make you happy here with the Sun card energy. Yeah, see that Sun has definitely got a smile on. Like, hey, what's up? All right, so you're going to get this letter, all right, this message, this document, something to do with this letter, or it may even visit you here with this person. You're going to have to make a choice, and it's something to do with marriage and long-term commitment or a commitment to this new path in love. You're going to have to make a choice to make a commitment towards this new path in love, or some of you are going to have to make a choice about something to do with marriage and a new path in love or this message of love, which is really going to make you happy here with the sun card energy, though. And then if we look at the numbers, there's a lot of analyzing, thinking, and contemplating about this choice about to put the work or effort into it for you guys. Okay, all right, so it looks really good for you guys the next couple weeks, yes. Yeah? So if you guys like this, hit that like button, let me know in the comments below. We're now gonna jump on to our singles. I know you guys have told me in the comments before that sometimes this resonates more, sometimes that resonates more, so you can check out both and let me know which one resonates for you. Okay. So bear with me for a second here while I clear this out of the way. All right. So what's going to happen my Pisces singles romance of life for February 28th to March 14th? What's going to happen my Pisces singles romance of love life for February 28th to March 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Some of my Pisces singles romantic love life for February 28th to March 14th. Pisces singles romantic love life February 28th to March 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. 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 Show me the cards I need to see.
show me the cards I need to see. All right, so it looks like you guys are, there is a, a, a focus on self-focus here. Nine of Pentacles is saying single and available. Obviously, we're doing, talking about singles. There is some changes happening here, okay? Um, let's see what the clarification is when it comes to love. So is a self-focus, a self-love focus, or there is the sense of change here. Uh, and it looks like we do have something to do with love here with the heart card energy. So this self-love going on here, because the Nine of Pentacles is self-love, it's self-isolation, and then we got the heart card, love. Okay, what's the Black Australian challenge? We've got the Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. There's this patient energy when it comes to passions. Okay, because mm. there is a sense that, oh my God, is there gonna be another shoe that's gonna drop here? That's what I feel like with this card, this attack card. It's like, oh God, what's gonna happen? What, what, what's the next shoe that's gonna drop here when it comes to my passions and chemistry? Okay, so you're kind of like, all right, I'm focused on myself, I'm focused on some self love here. All right, and the block Shillian challenge is this patient energy and you're just like, what's gonna be the next shoe that's gonna drop here? What's your influence? You're trying to find your courage, your strength and your confidence here and you're willing to put the work in here, right? You're putting the work in. So I feel like a lot of you guys are doing some internal work here, really focused on, you know, healing and uh, focusing on, you know, really loving yourselves and focusing on, not in a bad sense, but you know, when we have go through a breakup, we go through heartache or we're trying to move forward, we're trying to attract a better partner. We focus on making ourselves a better person so we can attract a better partner to us. So I feel like you guys are doing a lot of work on yourselves. You know, you're becoming, um, you're attracting that, that better love interest, that partner to you. And you're really putting the work into it and you're bringing their confidence level up here, right? Cause you're just like, you know what? I need to be patient here. Cause I don't, I don't want to have a, like a bad situation happen here. Um, take me by surprise. All right, so let's see what's gonna happen here. All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles energy. You're having the sense of, I have a lot to give here. And you're having a sense that things aren't in balance. You're just like, you know what, I'm just gonna walk away from the situation, Eight of Cups energy. Cause you know, there is this sense of heartache here and it's kind of leaving me stuck with the Three of Swords energy. I feel like you guys are gaining wisdom here, right? Cause you're focused on what's gonna fulfill my wishes here. And you are guys are using your intuition here with the moon card energy. So I feel like you guys, yes, you're going through it. You're, you're, you're working some things out here. You're clearing some things away here. And you're like, you know what? I'm getting the strength. I'm putting the work or effort into this. And I feel like you guys are bringing yourself into balance here. And so you're just like, you know what? I want to walk away from things that are going to cause me heartache here because you've gained wisdom here and you're going towards what's going to fulfill your wishes when it comes to romance. And you're using your intuition here with the moon card energy. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in another uh, day or two, okay? I will be releasing the monthly soon and I will be releasing the weekly, so stay tuned for that. It definitely will give you more information about what's going on here for the complete month. I love you guys so much and I will see you in another day or two and try to have a good next couple of weeks, okay?